I'm Aaron Rutten, and today I'll be demonstrating the Blenders brush pack I created for Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Fresco. You can download these brushes from my website at aaronrutten.com. The first brush that I'll demonstrate is Abrasive Blender, and if I paint with this, it kind of lifts the paint off the canvas while blending it a little bit. I can tilt my pen to change the angle of the dab as well. As you can see, I can get it to blend in this direction, or I can rotate it like this and have it blend this way, and everything in between. The next brush is Bristly Blender. If I paint with this brush, you can see I can pull out these nice bristly shapes. I can use lighter pressure and just kind of break up the edge like this as well. And I can go over those bristly marks and just kind of smooth them out with lighter pressure. Let's move on to Fingerprint Blender. And this is like touching your fingerprint to your canvas and smudging the paint. So I can make lots of fingerprints like this. This is another brush where I can change the angle of the pen to change the angle of the dab or the fingerprint. So if I want horizontal fingerprints, I can do that as well. The next brush is Flat Foliage Blender. This brush can utilize the rotation of the Wacom Art Pen. So as you can see, I can rotate the barrel of my pen to rotate the dab. That allows me to rotate my dab and I can blend vertically, or I can rotate it horizontally and I can blend this way. And I can get everything in between to give me a really versatile shape. Let's skip ahead a bit to Round Foliage Blender because this is a similar brush, but it has a round shape and it does not respond to rotation. I can get this really nice foliage effect to create tree details without having to add paint. We'll go back to Fur Blender. When I paint with this, I get this nice furry effect. I can change the angle of my pen with this brush as well to make the fur go in one direction or another. And if I use lighter pressure, I get smaller fur. If I use heavier pressure, then I get bigger fur. Let's move on down to Sharp Foliage Blender. This gives me a really nice sharp foliage effect. Let's try Soft Diffuse. This just gives you a nice soft blend that's a little bit grainy. Let's try Soft Grainy Blender. This also gives you kind of a soft grainy effect, but it's utilizing your paper grain. If you want to change that, you can go into your brush settings here and look under texture, and you can change your texture to all sorts of paper textures. So if I choose a different paper texture here, you can see I get a different texture when I blend. Many of these brushes can utilize the texture. For example, Bristly Blender can. So if I change the texture for one brush, it's going to affect the texture for all brushes. Let's try Splatter Blender. If I paint right along the edge here, you can see I can splatter it up nicely. I can even blend to transparency. Next is Sponge Dab Blender. And if I paint with this brush, I get this really nice spongy dab effect. There's also Spongy Blender, which gives you a different kind of spongy blending effect that's thinner and finer. Let's try Sticky Blender. This makes the paint feel kind of sticky so it doesn't move very far, and you just get a nice oily looking blend. Your paper texture can affect this brush. So if I choose something like trees here, now this brush pulls out a lot more, and it's a lot more smudgy. Let's try Wet Edge Blender. If I paint along the edges, I can make them look like they're wet, and have this fade out like it's water. If I use lighter pressure, then I can just very, very lightly wet the edge. And the final brush is a wet oily blender. If I paint along the edge, I can make it look wet and oily. I can do that on the transparent edge as well. Now let's try these brushes in Adobe Fresco. I have Abrasive Blender. Paint with that and you can see it works just like it does in Photoshop. Because of how Adobe Fresco supports blenders, things do get a little bit funky when you try to paint on a transparent edge. So you'll want to be painting on a layer that has something on the background. Or alternatively, I could switch to white or the background color, and that fixes that problem. Here's Bristly Blender. Here's Fingerprint Blender. Fur Blender. And Sponge Dab Blender. So there you go. That was a demonstration of the Blenders brush pack I created for Adobe Photoshop and Fresco. You can download these brushes now at AaronRutten.com.